Okay, well, um, welcome everyone. Um, welcome everyone in the room. Welcome everyone online to the uh, Maternal Mental Health in Africa Conversations Symposium. I'm really excited to see so many of you from all different areas um, of the world being here in person and um, uh, many people from Africa online um, joining us, people who are researchers, practitioners, advocates, carers, people with lived experience, health workers, a big range of people. Um, and <clears throat> we're here today because we all share one passion and that is maternal mental health and the continent, Africa, the world, a global context. Um, and our symposium focuses on maternal mental health. We know there's a lot of inequity around health and uh, mental health. Um, it's maternal mental health is critical, not only for the mother and the mother's health and well-being, but also for her children and her family. Um, and we have this commitment or we share a deep commitment of improving maternal mental health um, of, you know, across the continent in Africa, but many of us also globally. We know that mothers are facing um, mental health challenges and many of us are working on interventions or on, on um, developing or, or helping and supporting people with mental health from women with mental health problem. Um, and um, we're here and because we want to change things, we want to move things that we're doing and to share these experiences, share the knowledge um, and share what is being done particularly across the continent in Africa. Um, Africa is very special. Um, it has a vibrant and diverse community. It has different countries, different um, uh, cultures and, and, and really unites a, a very um, diverse uh, context. But it also has very specific opportunities and challenges when it comes to maternal mental health. A lot of um, contexts or, or um, countries face limitations in terms of resources um, and complex social determinants um, that we're facing and that affect maternal mental health and well-being. And our symposium today is about conversation, about talking about these things, about um, having a conversation. And we have a fantastic lineup of speakers um, from across Africa and from other parts of the world as well. They have expertise in research policy, on the ground implementation, lived experience. And these perspectives will be crucial in shaping a future um, where all mothers in Africa have access to the support they need to thrive, hopefully. Um, I'll say a bit more about the symposium in a moment, but I'd like to introduce my co-hosts first, up, sorry, my, and myself. <laughs> so my name is Nicole Vitruva. I'm a, a senior research fellow at the Nuffield Department of Women and Reproductive Health at the University of Oxford. I study perinatal mental health um, in sort of a global mental health setting at the moment, particularly in India, but I've worked across Africa as well. Um, and I am also very interested in implementation science and stigma, um, which are both closely linked to mental health. Uh, I'm a psychologist by background, and um, my aim in, in all the work I do is really looking at how can we improve equity and access to mental health care for everyone, including mothers. Um, I'm co-hosting the symposium with my dear colleague and friend, Simone Honigman from the University of Cape Town, the Center for Public Mental Health. Um, and she uh, is leading the Perinatal Mental Health Project, PMHP. She will introduce herself later and speak. Um, I'd also introduce um, or ex introduce one of my, um, or our co-hosts, which is the Department of, Nuffield the Department of Women and Reproductive Health. Um, and in particular, um, I'd like to thank my um, colleague and head of department, Prina Zondervan, um, uh, we also have a co-host that is the AFOX, the Africa Oxford Initiative. Uh, David Kerr will speak in a moment to introduce himself and the initiative. Um, then we are co-hosting with St. Anthony's College and Professor Miles Tendi, the head of African Studies Center, ASC. And then we have three wonderful organizations co-hosting with us, and you will hear about them um, later the Marseille Maternal Mental Health Africa, MAMA, the Global Alliance for Maternal Mental Health, GAM, 
and the African Alliance for Maternal Mental Health, AAMM. Um, so a bit more about the symposium and what our idea was. So when Simone and I talked about what we wanted and we had conversations with AFOC, we thought what we really want is to have an open conversation. We, um, many of us have been to um, scientific conferences and presentations, and we learn a lot at these conferences um, and we hear about research, but often what gets missed out when we then read publications or when we hear these short presentations, often due to a lack of time, is actually what were those struggles that, that people were facing and how did they overcome them or did they overcome them? And you most often then only realize when you're designing your own study or when you're carrying out your own work that actually it is really difficult, for instance, to get people with lived experience and, and really co-create that in a very equal and fair way because their stigma is so persistent and it's really hard to have people speaking out. And there's a lot of other issues, right, involving policymakers with often, very often changing people in policy um, there's a lot of so many different challenges that many people are facing and articles are limited often to 4,000 words and presentations to 10 minutes. And so we don't get to talk about these things. So today is really our aim is to have an open conversation and to hear from you from experts with lived experience, from people who do advocacy, who are NGO um, people, who are implementers, clinicians, health workers, carers and researchers to share what we have learned and where we face struggles and how we overcame them. And, and maybe we didn't overcome them and we were still facing it. And, and, and you know, we could be um, a group that can share and learn together and move on and maybe yeah, be something co-creational here. Um, and um, yeah, so this is sort of the aim and the vibe of it <clears throat> of this conference. So please feel free to talk as openly and as, as freely as you want and um and see this as a as a friendly um space where you can share these experiences when where you can ask questions also right and we will be very happy to to discuss um together and think through um so i'm not sure how to move through the slides um <clears throat> <laughs> okay well um yeah we have a, as you can see we have a um a tight program today so um, we're starting uh, now, and then we have the first session at 9.45, moving to scale. Simone will lead us through that. We then have a break at 11.25. Those who don't know, for people in the room, there's coffee and tea served over there. And then um, we have another session at 11.45 um, on social determinants in maternal mental health. We then have an introduction of the organizations that you're free to join at 1.15. And at 1.30 to 2.15, we'll break um, for people online. We will be taking lunch here um, in the college and uh, people online can also grab lunch <laughs> or do what they want. And then we're back at 2.15 UK time for sustaining capacity in maternal mental health. Another break at 3.30 and um, a session that we've designed as a new kind of session. I'll say more about that later where we really want to talk about the challenges in depth at 3.45 and we're wrapping up for a closure um, by 5 p.m. UK time. Um, just a few words on housekeeping. Um, so there's no fire test scheduled. And um, uh, so if there's a fire alarm in the room, please do leave the room uh, immediately. Toilets are when you go out of the room, down the stairs left, and there's also a disability toilet, uh, which is actually not that close, so you might want to go down or, or around the corner to the right. Um, we will be recording the symposium so we can share it um, with people who didn't make it today, and we'll be sharing the link for everyone um, after this. Um, 
So we, um, because we had a very, very big interest, so we had to change the venue, um, but also we had to move platforms from teams so everyone can access this uh, talk more easily. And we moved to Zoom. And um, what uh, is happening is we're having a webinar function. So those people online will see that um, uh, people who are participants and not just designated to speak, they will not be able to unmute themselves and ask a question. We're sorry about this, but this is a function that the webinar holds that um, participants can only be unmuted at the point when we actually have the Q&A. This is not because we want that. We would want even when people would talk through. Um, but uh, uh, please, uh, yeah, please know that in the Q&A session, you can put your questions into the chat and then um, we will be able to unmute you and, and have you um, explain your question and say a bit more. Please, when you do that, um, stay concise because of time reasons. I'm also being timed out heavily here. <laughs> um, and um, uh, also please for the presenters, keep to the presentation times. Please ask lots of questions. Um, and uh, please also bear in mind, we have a fantastic e-booklet coming out with a summary of the talks today. And uh, the bios will be short when we present them today of the people, but uh, you will find full bios in the e-booklet. And um, the main thing to say here is this is a very casual event. Please feel free um, to yeah, uh, enjoy, talk, raise your hands and, and contribute to the conversation. Most of all, enjoy, um, engage and have a very inspiring day. Welcome. And I'm handing over now uh, to David Kerr from Apos. So in the interest of keeping us the time, I will be very, very brief. Uh, my name's David. I'm the head of programs at Apops. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome all of you online and in person um, to this fantastic workshop on maternal mental health. Um, Apops uh, works to make Africa a strategic priority for the university, and we do that through equitable partnerships. We work in the space of innovation, um, so work with innovators on the continent, linking them up with partners at the university. Uh, we work in education, um, so that's, that strand of our work is a scholarship program, uh, which brings African students to do any one of the master's programs here. Um, and you might get to meet some of our scholars who, who might turn up to this workshop at some point. I know many of them are finishing parts of their courses at the moment. Uh, and we work on research. Uh, and we have two principal research programs, uh, a catalyst grant program, uh, which, is, which are kind of small grants to enable the early stages of collaboration, and a visiting fellowship program, which we've been running um, since the inception of AFOPS eight years ago. Uh, and Simone is one of our visiting fellows. Uh, the visiting fellowship runs for a year, uh, with 10 months of that being virtual engagement with Oxford, where you have access to some of the resources in Oxford, and two months in person, and those two months are obviously happening <laughs> now. Um, we've done, we've had around 90 visiting fellows over the years that we've been running. Um, and we've been doing some evaluation with our visiting fellowship program around whether those fellows are staying in touch and continue to collaborate with colleagues that they met in Oxford. And we found that overwhelmingly they do. We found that um, our fellows are kind of leveraging that opportunity to apply for further funding and to co-teach modules, to co-publish, um, to teach things together, to develop a whole range of um, academic collaborations um, and to and that they continue to remain engaged with the infrastructure in Oxford. I, I think what Simone and Nicole are doing here is a perfect example of the kinds of collaboration um, that we want to enable uh, because this is beyond the, the, the uh, outputs of academic work. This is the work of having impact through your research, bringing together policymakers, practitioners, healthcare providers, those with lived experience in conversations uh, and really generating kind of impactful research, having a, a pan-African conversation uh, with people from a whole range of different sectors. So it shows really the value of, of collaboration and partnership and, and is a wonderful model, I think, for what um, AFOPS fellows can do. And, and one of the other wonderful things I think about this workshop is that I know Simone and Nicole have, have involved other AFOPS fellows who are here at the moment, so there are other ones of our AFOPS fellows in the room who will be chairing sessions and contributing. Um, so just to, to warmly say, you know, this is a wonderful example. We're really delighted to be able to part, partner with Nicole um, and Simone on this workshop 
And I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful conversation. I know time is tight, so I won't take any more of your time. Um, but just to say welcome, thank you very much for being here. And we look forward to the conversation today.